Welcome back to another episode of MK's Kitchen. Today we're keeping it fruity and sweet and we will be making strawberry cheesecake stuffed cookies. We have our oven preheated to 350. We got our pans with parchment paper. Y'all, let's get into today's recipe. So first we're going to start off with our cheesecake cream cheese filling, whatever you want to call it. We have one block of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla flavor. We're just going to give that a nice little mix until everything is well combined and really creamy. So once you have your cream cheese all ready to go, we're going to be taking a little ice cream scoop. And we'll be scooping little balls onto our parchment paper and we will be placing it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. They don't have to be perfect. We're just wanting a little bit so we can put it inside of our cookies. All right, y'all, let's move on to our freeze-dried strawberry crisp. We're just going to be using our little chopper and we're gonna get our strawberry nice and crummy. I'm just gonna give it a few little chops. We will be using about half of our strawberries for our cookies and we'll be saving some of that for later for decoration to go on top of our cookies. So if it looks a little too chunky, just give it a few more turns. You could also use a blender as well. And I like mine a little bit like this, so you still get a little bit of crumbs. All right, y'all, let's get into our cake mix. We're just using the strawberry cake box mix. We're gonna be using the whole bag. We're gonna be adding those strawberry crisps from earlier. Like I said, about half of it or about 75% of it. And that's gonna give it a little bit more strawberry flavor. And now we're gonna be adding our vegetable oil, about a half of a cup. Ignore me, cause I did the wrong measurement. <laughs> and I was wondering when I mixed it, why I was so dry. Make sure it's one half a cup, y'all. Don't be one fourth in like me. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also be adding two eggs and just mix that on up with your handheld mixer or your KitchenAid whatever you just want to get a dough like consistency and it should look something like that all right y'all let's get our cookies set up we're just going to be taking our bigger ice cream scoop and making little lumps I'm just going to be stuffing a couple of the cookies so y'all can get an idea of how to stuff them with the cream cheese. So to make it easy, I'm just gonna be placing one on top of cookie dough and we're just gonna be taking another scoop and try to flatten that out as long as you cover a little bit of that cream cheese. And just continue that process. Some of them have no cream cheese at all, and I just wanna show you guys the difference. So we're gonna be placing this into our oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, y'all, our cookies are ready. They look so pretty. <laughs> Y'all can see that cream cheese is busting <laughs> out the little pockets of strawberry cookies. You can see that little crumbly. Just let them cool for a few minutes and we're going to get to decorating. So y'all check this cute little platter out I found at Dollar General. I just decorated it with some of those strawberry crisps and took some cream cheese and just took a little knife and swirled it on the sides and added some fresh strawberries in the middle. Just a little cute way to be creative. It's so cute. <laughs> so y'all, our cookies have cooled. We're just going to be plating them, just stacking them on top of each other. I'm going to be taking some of that cream cheese from earlier and just adding a little bit on top of the cookies. 
And I'll just do a couple of those like that. And like I said, some of them we're just gonna add nothing on top of them for cute little differences. <laughs> All right, y'all, and I'm going to be adding some of those freeze-dried strawberries for decoration. It makes it so cute and so pretty. Look at them. <laughs> Just look at them, y'all. I love a good strawberry cookie. Whew, especially the ones that's filled with the cream cheese. Y'all, get into these cookies. Add you a few fresh strawberries on top, and boom, you have your strawberry cream cheese cheesecake filled cookies Ooh, <laughs> i love it i love it i love it y'all this recipe is super easy i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like comment subscribe tell your mama your daddy your brother your sister your cousin your grandma all of the above <laughs> tell them to come on to mk's kitchen so i can teach them a little something <laughs> but y'all let's get a close-up of the inside with the cheesecake cream cheese filling <sighs> i cannot stop buying these y'all gonna have a stomach ache but that's okay it's in the name of strawberry cheesecake love <laughs> but i will see you guys next time on another episode of mk's kitchen bye